hello. This is a short video on my shelter setup for spring and fall. Keep in mind that this is for shorter trips. On a longer trips, I would definitely take my Hilleberg Arcto with me because I appreciate the additional shelter on the longer trips. Now, on the shorter trips, I would say this is quite adequate. Uh, what you can what you can see here is a Fjellduken original super top set up as a half pyramid. Fjellduken is quite nice because you can use it as a shelter, you can use it as a thermal jacket and you can use it as a rain cape. And if you are really clever and handy, you can make a little kayak out of it. Now, half pyramid is my favorite setup uh, for a shelter from Fjellduken. It gives me good protection from three sides and it, it also has a quite nice view. So if I have want to look outside, haha, I can do that. I don't usually carry tent pegs and tent poles with me. I usually use scrap wood that I can find lying almost everywhere. That's why I carry my trust assist book so I can make tent poles. Uh, Finnish law says that you should never kill a living tree for this kind of purpose. So I tend to use dead wood and sometimes if I am, I'm in a, a hilly environment I would have some kind of uh, hiking pole. It's the sleeping pack setup. What I have currently is a British Army surplus PV pack in multi terrain pattern and the sleeping pack I'm currently using is the Dutch Army modular system, the window sleeping bag. Uh, this is a nice additional information. Uh, the field can weighs something like four, 700 grams. Uh, the British Army surplus TV pack weighs something like 700 grams. So in additional something like 1400 grams. Now compared to the Dutch Army surplus hooped TV pack it weighs 1450 without any pegs, so it is almost identical weighs. So you can make the judgment which kind of setup is smarter for, let's say, a three day trip, especially if it would be raining. Um, I'm currently using the Dutch Army sleeping bag because the current stair defense 4 isn't as breathable as it probably should be. The Dutch army sleeping bag is much more comfortable, especially if it's a little bit warmer. Of course, it's not as insulative as the defense 4, so on a really cold night, I would definitely take the defense 4 put on spring and for when you can expect something like maybe a couple of degrees minus Celsius. Just below the freezing point, I would say that the Dutch army setup is quite nice. It's also quite nice up to somewhere like plus 10. So it's quite versatile and you don't have to worry that it would condensate, condensate that much moisture. Now, the petrol I'm currently having is the Finnish army. I would say it's some kind of integrated petrol because it has a ground sheath and the petrol integrated in one unit. I would say it's quite idiotic system. It's heavy, it's quite expensive um, and it's a little bit silly. But what it has going for it is that it's very simple and easy and fast to use. And the ground sheet material is quite excellent and durable. So I don't have to worry that little rocks or sticks would go puncturing it and then ruining my PV pack. Of course, on a longer trip, I would definitely take a separate ground seat and a separate um, petrol, something like Ridge Rest. I would easily say 500 or 700 grams in total weight. I would say this is quite comfortable setup as long as there isn't uh, mosquitoes and other bugs. That's why this is my spring and fall setup, because I, w I don't have a mosquito net that would fit this kind of setup. Uh, during summer times, I usually carry Basha with a mosquito net, and Basha also gives you way more options what you can build uh, and still have some quite good function in it. 
uh, because in Basha you can make this kind of a half pyramid or you can make an A-frame and I prefer the A-frame on a really hot summer nights. So, so that's about it I guess.